Hello again, Coney is here. Today I'm flying from Seattle Airport to Bowerman Airport in Hoquiam, Washington. Not sure exactly how to say that. I'm flying a Beechcraft 350i King Air. Um, not sure of the flight level, I'll figure that out once I get in the airplane. And let's go ahead and reset the view and get started. Going to check the barometer. That was off quite a bit. Already got the flaps up because I don't need those, so we'll take off the parking brake and get started. Okay, we can go ahead and lift off. Got a little off center there, but not too bad. Okay, we can try to keep it more like a 10% climb. Hey, four nine or seven, continue for south departure. Seattle Tower KA497 continue for south departure. Gear up. Sun's out, but it's very overcast, so we're getting kind of a dim view of everything. Okay, I've got a turn now, so I just wanted to take a quick peek out the window. K497 leaving my airspace frequency change Let's go ahead and make our turn. Seattle Tower KA497 frequency change. Okay, I think we've reached a good enough altitude, although I actually can't see anything. It makes me wonder if I should try to climb up over these clouds, but it's a very short flight, so I kind of don't want to do that. I still need to adjust our course here a little bit. Absolutely nothing to see. but I'm watching the magenta line on the compass close. Okay, starting to see something. Okay, I think we can turn back into our proper heading here. Okay, we're a little higher than I'd like to be, so I'm going to nose down. I'd prefer to be more about 4,000 feet, maybe. Go ahead and back up the throttle, and let's nose down. A bit of game lag there, but that's okay. That problem has mostly gone away. Yeah, 
Okay, I'm going to slow the descent a little bit. We're not precisely on course, we're pretty close. I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so I'd like to keep around 4,000. In fact, I'm going to set autopilot at 4,000. And engage that. Warning about the yaw damper. Okay, so now we're under autopilot control. Uh, very shortly, I will drop altitude again. Okay, so we can see a little bit out here. Like I said, it's a sunny day, but it's fully overcast, I think. I'm kind of curious what the temperature is. If we go back inside, and if I look down here, 40. So I'm going to turn on, well, pitot heat is on. I don't need to turn on de-icing. That's fine. This must look gorgeous on a bright sunny day. That looks amazing. It's beautiful out here despite the lack of colors, the so bright sun. Not so pretty in that direction. Or that one. I love how the sun makes an appearance here and there. Feels kind of fun playing with the clouds. like a residential area, I guess.
Okay, well, I'll play with the drone a little bit. I don't think they've fixed the speed problems. So can I actually go forward? I can. Not much to see around. Not much to really talk about. Switch back to the external view, and there we go. The game has been running smoothly for me, despite all the problems people are reporting. I do have a couple of bugs I have to work around, but other than that, it's been going really well. I just have only a few more legs to go on my fly learning to fly tour, and I'll make it back to Concord, California, where I started. Then I'm going to decide what next, maybe a long haul flight to Hawaii. Maybe a tour around, I don't know, Canada or Europe or Japan, something like that. I'd like to try a real-time flight across the country in a jetliner, I think that would be fun. Looks like I didn't really change much. Try this upper view, see what this is like. Although it looks like I'm going to block out the sun if I do that. Maybe I can... yeah, there we go. That's interesting. Kind of lost the sun. I guess it disappeared behind the clouds. Alright, well, it's never that interesting inside, but it is quiet. Just grayness. Saw the cloud there, the sun again, there it is. See a little bit of stuff happening on this side, not too much. When I get about 20 nautical miles away, I'll contact the tower and 
ask for the landing pattern. I'm just uh, thinking while I push the throttle up, I realized that we were going a little on the slow side. Not too bad. I had left it at the halfway point after descending and then never set it back, but that's fine. Not in a hurry to get there. see anything yet, but we might be a little bit far away. really want to get an idea of what the approach I need to take is. I'm going to take it off of autopilot. And go fly from the inside. down a little bit, see if I can see anything. Not really. Okay, I'm losing some altitude. I'm actually going to drop throttle and try to lose some speed keep the same altitude. Need to pull up a bit more. We should shortly be able to see the landing pattern. Maybe we're too far away. But I know it's in this direction. Okay, good. Looks like we're continuing to slow down. That's good. We're going to need to slow down even more fairly quickly. I'm going to drop throttle a bit more.
Still can't tell where we're supposed to enter the pattern. Can't see anything from the outside view. I'm going to keep dropping the throttle because we are going a bit fast at this point. I'd like to actually enter the pattern going 140. And at that point, put the flaps down, the approach flaps. Okay, I think we're doing okay speed wise. There's the pattern. Alright, the opening is going to be to my left, it looks like. Let's go ahead and turn in that direction. I'm still going too fast. I'm going to put the approach flaps down now. A little hard to tell where I'm supposed to enter the pattern. But I'll um, figure that out when I get there, I guess. We go up to 50% of the throttle since we've got the flaps halfway down. I'm trying to do this without looking outside because I want it to be realistic. At the same time, it's just hard to tell the nature of this landing pattern where I'm supposed to go. I've dropped the throttle back down, we started going too fast. And I guess I lost a bunch of altitude also. That's fine. We'll just head over in that direction and see what we need to do. I could probably just short circuit and go right in here rather than hit the mouth of the opening. I'm going to put the landing gear down to slow us down some more. Drop the throttle down. Still going really too fast to cut in here, I think. Maybe I should actually just head over to the opening. Of course, we did drop a bunch, so maybe, maybe this will be okay. It's gonna drop the throttle all the way down and coast for a while. I think it'll be okay to just head in here. Go 
going to put the flap down all the way just because we're going way too fast at this point. That has to be accompanied by a push up on the throttle. Okay, so we're actually in the pattern now, we're going at good speed. I'm going to pull back on the throttle just a bit because we're going to start dropping. I'm going to try to hug the right side of the pattern, give myself a wide turn and stay visually centered. Okay, we're going a little on the slow side now, so let's give it some more throttle. We're at 50% now. Probably not going to need that as I go through this turn and dro start dropping, so I'm going to pull back on it. Alright, well this feels okay so far. Uh, going a little on the slow side, I think. I do need to drop some altitude, so I can do that to get some speed back. Too fast, yep, true. Okay, I've got the throttle all the way down, and I'll feather it as needed to keep us afloat. Probably using the term feather incorrectly, not referring to their propellers. But just giving it little puffs of thrust as needed. Like right there. Okay, and I think we just need to flare up a little bit and we'll be okay. Okay, brakes, flaps up. Oops, I'm going too far to one side. All right, and now I need to figure out where to get off of the runway. It looks like somewhere up here. Set the parking brake. That felt a little crazy, but that's all right. Now to clear a runway. Kilo Hotel, Quebec. Mike traffic KA497 is clear of the runway. All right. I guess it's up to me to figure out where I want to go now. So I'll just find somewhere to park. Let's take the outside view. Okay, not in that direction, although that's a pretty shot. Somewhere over in that direction, okay. It might be raining, actually.
Maybe it's just drizzle. I'm seeing something in the pavement. It's like water droplets. Don't see anything on the windshield though, so maybe it's just reflections on the asphalt or something. Okay, I guess I will turn in here. Uh, I missed, missed my turn. That's all right. Parking brake on. Shut engines down. Also kind of a nice shot. Maybe I can get the sun more in the picture. It's kind of nice. Maybe that'd make a good th thumbnail for the video. Maybe not. All right, and um, shut off the plane. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.